Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We start with the another MCQ paper. This is the June 2020 uh, paper 1 2, and this is another variant. And there are only two variants in this year. And uh, this was last year when we took this exam, when we had the pandemic and we didn't take the exams. Uh, starting with this, we'll have question 1 to 20. And I hope this uh, becomes easier for you each time you do these MCQs. Question one, starting with the smallest and ending with the largest. Smallest to the largest, what is the correct sequence of these parts of an organism? Gene, chromosome, nucleus, cell, tissue. Now, we all know that is, you see, why is chromosome gene, gene is a part of a chromosome and nucleus is a whole cell. This is the whole cell, there's a nucleus. In the nucleus, you have the chromosomes and the gene is just a part of the chromosome. Gene is a small section of the chromosome. And then this is the cell. And then many cells like these put together, having the same structure and the function will be called a tissue. So we have to understand smallest to the largest. So gene was the smallest, then chromosome, then nucleus, and then cell, and then tissue. So many cells together will make the tissue. The tissue had to be right at the end because that was the largest out of all of them. Because nucleus is part of a cell and many cells together make a tissue. And then the chromosome is inside the nucleus. And then a part of the chromosome is the gene. So gene was this part, which is the yellow part here. And this was the chromosome, which I have uh, given a blue color. And then let's give it another color. The nucleus would be this nucleus. So this would be the nucleus. And then let's look at the cell. The cell would be this whole cell. And then many cells together would be the tissue. Coming to question two, which movement of substance in plants is an energy consuming process? Absorption of carbon dioxide by a palisade, photosynthesizing, no diffusion, absorption of oxygen by a mesophyll cell, respiration, diffusion, nitrate uptake by root hair cells. Now that would only be an energy's active transport. Transport of water up through the xylem, in fact, would not even be osmosis, it would be mass flow or diffusion of water inside the xylem. So transport of water up through the xylem is not even osmosis because there's no partially permeable membrane involved in this. Now coming on to question three, the diagram shows the movement of water through part of a leaf. Guard cell, five, then one, xylem vessel, then coming out of the xylem vessel into cell two, then coming there, then from cell two going to the surface of this is cell, uh, no, surface of the cell, no, it's, the, it's a subsmatal air space. And then four into the space and then five out of it. The diagram shows the movement of water through part of a leaf. Which processes are involved in the movement of water at these stages? Now, one to two out of the xylem into the cell would be, of course, osmosis. Why? Because xylem won't have a partially permeable membrane, but this cell would have a partially permeable and they've seen shown you the arrow coming out of the xylem and into the so yes xylem vessel won't have a partially permeable membrane but this cell this cell cell a would have a partially permeable membrane so we have to say osmosis so these were all wrong so one to two had to be osmosis then three to four three to four means from the surface of this cell it has become a vapor so that had to be evaporation so what we have to understand is that first it is on the surface of the cell. The water is on the surface of the cells. Now it's on the surface of the cell is in the form of a liquid, but once it evaporates, it becomes a vapor. Now when it is a vapor, that is going to diffuse out of the leaf. So it had to be evaporation and then four to five was, four to five was coming out of the uh, stoma or coming out of the pore in the stomata would be the water vapor diffusing out, the water vapor diffusing out, not water, water, not in a liquid state, but in a gaseous state, the water vapor diffusing out. Question four, 
which substance is an enzyme chlorophyll is a pigment fibrinogen is a plasma protein insulin is a hormone lipase was the only one which was an enzyme so the answer would be lipase and this is why we have uh, i have circled that and this would be the answer would be lipase enzyme chlorophyll is a pigment fibrinogen is a plasma protein is a globular protein it's not an enzyme and insulin is a hormone then question 5 what is the effect on plants of lack of magnesium you know magnesium is needed for the chlorophyll so chlorophyll production is reduced it didn't say it didn't say what is the effect on plants of a lack of magnesium so leaves turn dark green they turn pale green in fact and start production decreases and young leaves wilt no such thing wilting is because of the water law if water loss is more than water uptake only then will something wilt so wilting was wrong this was wrong this was wrong the six the diagram shows a green plant photosynthesizing under a glass jar i've explained this in the previous variant as well this was used as a control experiment so now in this case they have changed the question this is the which diagram shows the experiment carried out to investigate the need for carbon dioxide in photosynthesis so now they have given you the control and then now they are asking you which one is the experiment which they did so in the experiment they did is they would have to absorb the carbon dioxide and that is why the answer was a and uh, and it was of course in the light so this was in the dark so this was wrong and then c why was c wrong because it was indicated to detect carbon dioxide this was wrong and then here we had oil layer we didn't have the beaker and the chemical and the filter paper in it so this was wrong because the apparatus has to be exactly the same question 7 this was in the other variant as well the graph shows the rate of photosynthesis in a plant in full sunlight at two different temperatures and different concentrations of carbon dioxide so the carbon dioxide changes you've got two different temperatures that they're talking about and then i told you is it says at normal atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration what limits the rate of photosynthesis so here this what is this point what would limit the rate of photosynthesis now i've told you this part of the graph where it's increasing so this yellow part of the graph where the graph is increasing and this part whatever is on the x axis is the limiting factor because as you are increasing this factor as we are increasing this factor this is increasing the rate of photosynthesis is increasing so you got to understand is when the rate of photosynthesis is increasing this point from here to here whatever is on the x axis if i had written here light intensity then light would have been the limiting factor so at 0.04% you got to understand is somewhere here so light uh, sorry uh, carbon dioxide concentration is the limiting factor and that is why the answer was a and not light intensity or temperature or water availability then coming on to question number 8 which process happens in the duodenum bile is formed in the liver so this was wrong feces are formed in the large intestine they are stored in the rectum pancreatic juice lowers the ph uh, lowers the ph no it increases the ph because it's got an alkali in it and fats are digested by lipases i think a or b was totally wrong was i mean nobody could have got that really mixed up uh, we know in the duodenum we have the three enzymes uh, pancreatic uh, amylase lipase and the pancreatic protease which is trypsin which digests the carbohydrates fats and the proteins and the bile as bile salts which emulsify fats so that also happens in the duodenum coming on to question number 9 the diagram shows the human alimentary canal one you can see is the mouth and two is the stomach and three is the anal canal then it says where do ejection and in ingestion so ejection would be three so we have got these two possible choices ejection is the removal of the feces is the undigested uh, parts of the food that we ate and ingestion is of course can't be stomach it has to be the mouth or the buccal cavity so that is why the answer was uh, c 
In coming on to 10, the bar chart shows the recommended daily food intake of four people. An 80-year-old retired man, a male manual worker, a six-year-old child and a breastfeeding mother. Now, which row correctly identifies two of these four people? Now, you can see how, what do we have? R-S-T-U. Which row correctly identifies two of these? Child is U, retired man is R. Manual worker is T, child is S. Mother is S, manual worker is R. And retired man is R and mother is U. Basically, you see, what was it showing you? It showed the daily food intake of four people. So, more fat, how much carbohydrate, how much protein, how much energy. Now, basically, the energy was the one which was the most important one. And I'm just going to color that to make you all understand this. That the energy... So, why would a person need more energy had to be a manual worker. So, a male manual worker had to be R. So, manual worker is R and then of course that was easy for you because the rest is mother was S because less energy would be needed by her. But uh, the other which was a retired man would of course require less energy and a child would of course require the least energy. So, this is what you had to understand is how this question was answered. Then coming on to question number 11. Water and ions can reach the xylem of a plant root through cell walls without passing through a cell membrane. Water and ions can reach the xylem of a plant root through cell walls without passing through a cell membrane. How do these substances move through the cell wall? I mean, if it's moving through the cell wall, you know the cell wall is fully permeable. So it is not crossing any partially permeable membrane. So the water and ions would all move in by diffusion. There cannot be any osmosis because number one, water and ions. So water would be by diffusion because it's going through the cell wall. It isn't passing any cell membrane. Cell wall is fully permeable. And the ions, if they are passing through, it says without passing through. So how do these substance cell walls? So the ions would also be moving in by diffusion. Because they're only passing through the cell wall. They are not uh, having any cells. So basically, the main thing was they wanted you to find out whether you knew diffusion and osmosis. There was no other third choice. Then the photomicrograph shows part of a section through a root. And as you can see, Y is being labeled as the center of the root. And this is the one which makes that uh, X-shaped, star-shaped structure. And this is the center of the root. The contents of Y are tested with Benedict's and with iodine. Now, Benedict's is for reducing sugar, like glucose is a reducing sugar. Sorry, sucrose is a non-reducing sugar. So, please remember, phloem also would test negative because phloem contains sucrose. And iodine is for starch. So, Benedict's is for reducing sugars, which is glucose and fructose are reducing sugars. Now, which results are correct? Now, as you know, Y is, if you look at Y, if you look at Y, then Y is the xylem. So if the Y is the xylem, then you know the xylem contains water and ions. So both of these would test negative. So that is why what you have to understand is that D was the correct answer to this. Now, as we look at question number 13, the diagram shows a section through the heart. Now, one is the vena cavas. Two is the pulmonary artery, which is coming out of the uh, right side. This is the pulmonary artery. And three is the, three is what? It's coming out of here. So this is the aorta. Three is the aorta. And the fourth is the one which is coming in to the left atrium. And this fourth is the pulmonary vein. So, 3 is the aorta and 4 is the pulmonary vein. So, it said which two numbered parts contain oxygenated blood? So, it had to be 3 and 4 because these are the uh, vena cava and the pulmonary artery carry deoxygenated blood. So, you had to remember is that the right side all carries deoxygenated blood. 
while the left side all carries oxygenated blood and that is why they are kept separate so they don't mix because this oxygenated blood has to reach the body while the deoxygenated has to go to the lungs where it is going to be uh, oxygenated and the carbon dioxide removed number 14 which blood vessel contains valves now that was all very simple because there's only one which is the veins which contain uh, valves so the rest of it was all wrong because you see nor do arteries nor do capillaries have valves then coming to question number 15 which chamber of the heart would be the first to receive nicotine absorbed into the blood in the lungs of a cigarette smoker you see when it enters it enters to the pulmonary vein so the pulmonary vein enters the left atrium it's not a question of oxygenated it's a question of that chemical entering the lungs and then being carried away into some vessel which of course would be the pulmonary vein which connects the lungs to the so this is the heart and this is the lungs so from the lungs comes the pulmonary vein from both the lungs in fact comes the pulmonary vein and this pulmonary vein would be containing uh, nicotine and that nicotine would enter the left atrium so if we divide the heart into right and left side this is the left atrium then coming on to question number 16 during which activities anaerobic respiration most likely to occur breathing sleeping sprinting it has to be strenuous exercise so heavy exercise strenuous exercise means sprinting 100 meters so that was the answer c to it then question 17 which structure is lined with cilia alveolus no cilia esophagus no cilia small intestine no cilia so only one choice was bronchus Then coming on to question 18, the graph shows change in the volume of person's lung over a period of two minutes. This has come in the previous variant as well. What could cause the change in the pattern of the graph between x and y? So changing from running to walking, from walking to running. Yes, that would be probably because this is more exercise. Walking is slower exercise. Doesn't take a lot of. You don't have get out of breath or you don't sort of uh, inhale and exhale uh, this uh, deeply. so rate and depth of breathing increases that's the syllabus point which they are checking then decrease frequency of contraction of the internal intercostal muscles the internal organs all rubbish then 19 the diagram shows the human kidneys and their associated structures now what was x x is the one which is coming out from the kidney and is going to the bladder so this as you can see there are two of them and i always tell you to remember them as you have to remember is ureter and ureter has two e's in it so ureter because you see you mix this with the urethra now this part which is coming out of it this is called the urethra the urethra has one e just to make you all remember this so ureters uh, two e's so what is the structure labeled x had to be the ureter please remember the spelling you going to mix this with urethra and some of you going to I get this question wrong if you don't remember ureter and urethra so i tell you to remember it as uh just let me write it once again because uh, this has got two e's while this has got one e so two ureters one two and urethra is only one so this is just how you remember it then coming on to question number 20 which of these statements describe control by negative feedback this is come in the previous variant as well uh, when blood pressure is high nerve impulses on the vein cause the blood vessels to dilute and blood pressure is reduced question number 21 which structure does light pass through when it is focused on the retina so it passes through the cornea it passes through the lens but it does not pass uh, through the sclera so this was wrong so this was the answer was this cornea lens and sclera so if you need to revise this please revise the anatomy of the eye and i'm sure you'll get it right uh, this has question 1 to 21 and this is the first video on it so we'll continue this in the next video thank you